What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about the Great Divider. What is the Great Divider? The Great Divider is money. What we fail to realize and fail to understand is the Most High may place us in positions where we're able to acquire more resources. What we do with our influences is important. What we do with the resources is important. Just because we may be getting more money than somebody else does not mean that we have to undermine other people's achievements, treat other people less than, and try to make ourselves look like we're bigger than we are due to the fact of the matter of the resources that we may have gained. Many times when people haven't acquired resources and then they start acquiring resources, they start to look at others as less than, they start to look at others as not good enough because they're placed in a higher position. We should not misuse our influence. If God places us in a position, we have to be responsible. If God places us in a position of leadership, we have to be smart. We have to understand what God wants for our lives. The enemy wants us to be prideful, arrogant, boastful, negative, greedy. God does not want us to be like that. There are people who believe in God, who follow God, and have acquired resources. We have to understand that there are people who follow God that acquire resources because God wants them to acquire those resources. God wants them in that leadership position. And we have to understand when God places us in a certain position, he places us in that position of leadership for a reason. It's for us to understand the reason why God places us in that position. It's for us to understand what we can do with the resources in order for us to be good, in order for the people that we know to be good, in order for us to help others that follow God as well, and in order for us to actually improve the world that we live in. The enemy wants you to be greedy with your resources. The enemy wants you to do wicked things with your resources. The enemy wants you to be under bondage. Many times with this great divider, what the enemy will do is cause confusion. The enemy may make people jealous and envious of you because you've gained these resources that they aren't able to gain as yet. Instead of somebody asking you for help, trying to learn how you've acquired resources and gained resources. Some people just want to hate. Some people just want to be envious. Some people just want to be jealous. Some people may make you feel like less than because you've gained these resources, because you're placed in this position God wants you to be placed in. Understand that it is not of your doing, but the enemy uses weak people to try to stop you from getting further ahead. On the other hand, we may misuse our resources. We may use our resources to show others that we have resources. What we may do is buy cars, buy clothes, buy numerous properties, and we may do things with these resources where we make others look bad in a way to show our financial status, you know, as a perspective of class, not using it for the right reasons. Granted, you can use your money to do whatever you want to do with it. But once you start using your money in a way to show others that you're better than them, to show others that you're higher class in them to show others that you have money now, you're not doing it for the right reasons. The lifestyle that you decide to live, 
let that lifestyle be of your choice. If your lifestyle comes with luxuries and lavish living, but you aren't doing it in a way to prove others that you're better than them, to prove to people that you're in a better financial situation, but it's just your lifestyle and you choose to do nice things with your money because you want to do nice things with your money, then it's fine. But if you want to use it in order to show others that you got it like that, then you're doing it wrong and you're not walking in the position that God wants you to walk. Sometimes this great divider, money, people may ask you for money. They may ask you for money because they may be in need. They may ask you for money because they want to save money and they think that they can use your money to do whatever they want to do. But when it's time to pay you back, they don't want to pay you back. This causes division. Because if you trust somebody with money and you give that person money, you expect that mutual respect to be there for that person to provide you that money back. But sometimes people will run off with the money. They won't contact you about that. They won't do the things that you've done for them. They'll try to ignore you. They'll try to tell other people lies about you. They'll try to do things in order for you to be hurt by it because they don't want to give you back the money that you provide to them. This is what money does. If we try to use our resources in a way to help others, but they don't want to be helped, and they want to just use us, we will be destroyed. Sometimes there are people who use their money to do wicked things in this life, to hurt others behind that money because they want to gain more and they want to profit more and more and more resources. So they hurt others. They do things to others that are not good, not good judgments of character. Stay away from these people. Some people get corrupted by the money because they think that money rules everything. They think that if they don't have this money, they will not have a say in anything. Understand that there are people who may not have resources that you have, but they're stronger than ever. They're mentally strong, they're spiritually strong, they're physically strong. Understand that just because you have money does not mean that you're better than somebody else. You may have the resources in this world, but if you're still struggling with other things, you're still stuck. You're still playing this game and this maze of life. Understand that God wants us to do the right things. God wants us to walk the right way. When he provides us the position that we are in, he's providing us the position for us to understand for us to grow, for us to learn, and for us to elevate. Whenever God puts you in a position, in new territory, we have to use our influence in a positive way because other people are watching. It may be the youth, it may be other people that are trying to learn from you. And if we are misusing our influence, then we're unable to help others, we're unable to help ourselves, and ultimately, we lose it all. There are people in this life that misused their influence when they had the ability to use it properly. And what happened in return? They lost everything. Sometimes people who misuse their influence and they don't do the right things, when they lose it all, they're able to actually be stronger, find God, and actually talk about the situations that they're in. There are people who are famous actors, entertainers, musicians, athletes, who had it all and lost it. 
who had it all and squandered it. And at the end of the day, when they understood that they lost it all, they're able to find God, they're able to talk about their situation, and they're able to actually learn from the lesson that they were placed in. Ultimately, learning the lesson that you're placed in, learning about the situation that you're placed in, and actually moving forth, moving forward and doing better, ultimately provides you the insight needed for you to be stronger. So today, I'll be reading these two scriptures for you, and I hope that you understand this message. Hebrew 13.5, keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. First Timothy 6.10, for the love of the money is a root of all kinds of evil. It is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. Understand that we must not be consumed by the resources that we may gain. We should not be consumed by the money that we may acquire. But we must understand how to use these resources how to be responsible, how to understand that we must not let the money make us, but we must understand the concept of money, how to use money, how to be responsible, and how to actually be leaders. People are watching us, learning from us, wanting us to provide them the insight in order to help them on their own journeys and their own path and understand that you can be somebody of influence, whether you have monetary gains or whether you don't. What we must understand is life is outside of just making money. There is a larger scheme that is going on in this life, a larger spiritual battle with the enemy and once we understand the enemy's plan and plot to destroy us through all these different avenues and pathways, we must seek God, follow God, understand God, and walk with God the closest and have faith in God. I want to thank you for watching today. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Peace.